So I saw your Harry Potter and Hunger Games Sins videos. Yeah, yeah. Read the book, asshole. So, any movie that's based on a book, I have to read the book first. Yeah. Okay. All the President's Men. That movie's based on a book, and I've never read it. But the movie's awesome. You wanna know why? Because they explain everything. And that movie's entertaining. You're comparing it's better than Harry Potter and Hunger Games. One of the biggest political stories of our time to fantasy. Now, let's just say that all the President's Men didn't explain everything, right? Maybe there's a phone call or a clandestine parking lot meeting where. I mean, we don't get to see it, and all of a sudden Woodward and Bernstein know all this shit about Watergate, but we didn't see how they learned it, right? And you would sit there and tell me to go read the book. Well, I would probably or say... Or you would say, you know, don't worry about it. I mean, you could figure it out in five seconds if you just think about it. Well, sure, I can figure out that somebody told them, somebody probably who worked in the White House, but if I don't know who it is, I don't understand their motivation. How did they get this person to talk when no one was they willing to They make movies or... like Harry Potter for people who read the books. Bullshit. Studio executives would throw themselves off a bridge if they made book money. All right, you tell me the only people they want to enjoy this movie are the people who read the Filmmakers book. Filmmakers can't put everything from the book into the movie. Why does it matter if Hagrid's dragging a tree? What the f*** is wrong with you? I'll tell you why. Magic! I'm watching a movie about magic and they're making this poor bastard drag a giant f tree all the way across campus. Is he married to Darren from Bewitched? They have some kind of a gay pact? Why does the pact have to be gay? Not do magic? Listen, it's all explained in the book, right? Yeah, well that's another thing. Why do I even care what you people who read the book think? You people are the hardest to please in the world. You nitpick everything. Oh, they changed the boa constrictor into a Burmese python, or they didn't do Peeves the Poltergeist, or they left out the Sorting Hat song. But if I point out one inconsistency in the movie, you tell me, go read the book. Makes everything better, right? Well, you wouldn't ask as many stupid questions, out. And while we're on the subject of magic, I mean, is it like the Force? You have to believe that you have it before you actually have it? I mean, they're all sitting around waving wands and doing the pseudo-Latin, and... I mean, if it really comes down to who pronounces it the best, then aren't they really just taking language courses? I think it's like what Malcolm Gladwell said. It takes like 10,000 hours of practice to become a master. Well, then Hermione should be the best wizard in the whole series. Right? All she ever does is read, study, correct people, and go to the library. Right? She's a better wizard than Ron. She's a better wizard than Harry. Probably a better wizard than Dumbledore. Dumbledore definitely has more than 10,000 hours of practice. That's why he does magic in one movie out of eight. 